Hey fellas, not so chatty here and welcome back to another video. So I would like to wish all my Indian fellas a happy Independence Day. Yeah, you guys probably will be flying kites on your rooftop. That's what people usually do this day. And as for me, I, I kind of suck I kind of suck at this skill, so I wish someone would teach me that. Yeah. So yeah, anyways, coming back to the video. Uh today I'll be doing a review of a new battle royale game that has been launched the market and it call itself rings of elysium the ashens i now it claims to be that it's the boldest battle royale concept till date and i'm not sure if it's true so yeah i'm gonna investigate on that and give my review so without any f delay let's get started shrinking circles and the last man standing you won't find that all too familiar battle royale formula here. Welcome to Ashen Eye, the boldest BR concept to date. This is the ultimate test of survival. A volcanic eruption filled Europa Island with deadly sulfur dioxide. With the air being highly toxic, you must escape. Shrinking. The only safe haven from the deadly fumes will be the ashen eye, which is constantly moving. Yeah, I see. The other battle royale games were a kind of a dumbass, you know. In PUBG, we have to move towards the middle safe zone, cause the circle is shrinking. That's the mess. In Fortnite, the circle is shrinking in the form of an upcoming storm. And we have to run towards the safe zone, which is in the middle again. That's also dumbass. In Apex Legends, there are rounds, and when the circle shrinks, the next round starts, and we still have to run towards the middle safe zone. That's also dumbass. Since I, the safe zone is going randomly from here to there, and head to I don't know where, and we have to keep running inside of it, of it just to be safe. Yeah, that's kind of a smart ass. Idea. <laughs> you will begin each game with a limited amount of oxygen. Outside of the eye, oxygen will be gradually consumed from the reserve. Once depleted, you will die quickly from suffocation. Okay, so when we are outside the safe zone, instead of losing our health a bit by bit, we lose our oxygen. That's great. As a squad of three, you and your team must scavenge oxygen from enemies while chasing the ever changing Ash and I. If surrounded on all sides with your oxygen rapidly depleting, you have to do whatever it takes to survive this volcanic apocalypse. Wait a second, parkour and grappling? Awesome! So here is my final conclusion. It can be a bit tiring and troublesome to keep up with the moving eye of the storm, the ash and eye. But it's bound to be awesome given that you can have a, a grapple hook and park over around here and there. And also a glider and a small eye drone that is bound to give you the enemy's location. It's bound to be awesome. And since it's available on Steam, I don't know it's free or not i don't know i'm not on steam as of yet so guys go check it out and tell me if it's free or not 
I might be able to play it someday. So as of me, I have my work is done here, and I'm going to play Apex as right now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my video, and hit it a like if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my upcoming videos. So until then, goodbye. I gotta play Apex. Bye.